All praises, all praises to the Most High, man. The elder and all the brothers brought it out mighty in the spirit, right? So I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem and right? And we're going to keep rolling on with it, right? So any of y'all two brothers, y'all got any more questions before I start? You got a question, brother, before I start? What's the name of the tribe? What tribe? All the tribe on this chart right here. What tribe would you see your, you see yourself on that side? What tribe would you be from? You get? You get? All oh, praises, all oh, praises to the most high, right? All oh, praises to the most high. So you got any questions, brother? Okay, all praises. Well, if brothers ain't got no questions, we gonna keep rolling on with it, right? So let me get the book, uh, Amos chapter eight, and give me verse eleven, right? Let me get the book of Amos chapter five and verse ten, right? Right? Cause like the elder was bringing out, man, our people, man, right? What's up? You blessed? You blessed with that cross? But I'm saying, like, you you think that cross gonna do something for you? So why are you wearing it? Spiritual. It's spiritual. Let me get the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, and verse 10. Bring, right? Bring that up. Right? Go to uh go to Exodus chapter 20. Come. Yep, bring that up. Read that. This is the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13 and verse 10. Right. But Miserable are they, what the Lord say, but miserable are they, and in their things is their hope. Who called them God? Who do what? Who called them God? Because most of our people, right, they think the cross is going to do something for them, right? You ask somebody, oh, why you got that cross on? They say it's for spiritual protection, right? They say oh, I'm protected by the Lord, right? All our people, they in the idolatry. They want to serve Allah, right? Worship the cobblestone, worship the damn cross, right? Worship the damn ark, right? In Egyptology, but the Lord not dealing with that. Read that. Who call them gods, which are the works of men's hands? What is that cross on his neck? The works of men's hands. Gold and silver. What? Gold and silver right. to show art in right. and resemblances of beast right. or a stone good for nothing. What is that cross on his neck? A stone good, good for, for nothing. nothing. The Lord said that's good for nothing, right? So why would you have something that's good for nothing around your neck? You like it? But what did the Lord say though? Do we do, we do what we want and, and do what we like because... Right? What's more important? Right? What the Lord said or what we like and how we feel? Most definitely what the Lord said. Right, so, alright brother. Will you take that cross off your neck? And throw it on the ground? Come on, brother. Come on, man. You gotta do what the Lord said, man. The Lord said that's good for nothing, man. Right? No, don't put it back on. You gotta you gotta throw the cross. The Lord keep the necklace. The Lord said that's trash, man. You gotta throw it out, man. If that cross, look, That's if you throw that cross on the ground and never pick it up again, right? Is that cross, is that cross gonna do something for you, man? If you walk away right now, is that cross gonna protect you from getting shot in the head? Is that cross gonna stop you from getting a car accident? So why would you wear it around your neck? But but I'm saying, brother, that's a that's an idol, right? Read, go go to uh, Exodus. Where's you at in Exodus? Read that. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 1. I am the Lord. 
the law of thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images. What that brother got around his neck? Any graven images. What that cross around his neck? Any graven images. Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above. Or that is in the earth beneath. Or that is in the water under the earth. Right. So you know what the Lord said, man. Right. Right. Just throw it out, man. Right. Throw it away, brother. Throw it away, brother. Just throw it away. Yeah, hey, keep the chain. You can keep the chain, but throw it away. Yeah, throw all that out, man. Read that. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 1, verse 18. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. Do what? That perish foolishness. But unto them that perish foolishness. But unto us which are saved, it is the power of your Yahweh. Hey, so what you doing with the cross, man? You can keep the chain, but you got to throw that cross out. You got to throw it out, man. You got to throw it out. Come on, brother. We just gave you the precepts, man. You be, hold on, hold on. You believe in the Bible? You, you believe in the Bible? Hold on, hold on, brother. You believe in the Bible? Because the Lord, the Lord is recording you right now. Do you believe in the Bible? You believe in the Most High God? And you got it. In the, in the first Ten Commandments, he said that you gotta, you can't worship graven images. So you gotta, but you gotta throw it out, brother. You gotta throw it out, brother. Come on, brother. The Lord give you a chance. Give me Hebrews 10 to 26. Give me Hebrews 10 to 26, man. Right? Let me get Hebrews 10 to 26. The Lord, we gave you the word, brother. The Lord give you a chance, man. Read that. This is the book of Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 26. For if we sin willfully, if we do what? If we sin willfully. Right now, brother, you sin willfully because we gave you the precepts, right? The Lord said go precept upon precept, man. You got to have two or three witnesses. We gave you the precepts about the graven images and you still ain't throw it out, man. Right? So read that. For if we sin you repent by throwing it away, man, That's and never right. coming back to it. That's right. For if we sin willfully, right. after that, we have received the knowledge of the truth. Right. So you just received the knowledge of the truth, brother. Like I just said, we just gave you the precepts about that graven image. Read. There remaineth no more sacrifice. Remaineth no more what? No more sacrifice for sin. So, brother, the Lord... You can walk away and you can never come back, man. The Lord, he might not give you another chance, man. Right? So it should be in your best interest to throw that cross off. No, brother, you got to throw that. You ain't trying to hear nothing if you ain't throwing that cross off, man. And matter of fact, you still got that pack of seeds on you. You got to throw that out too, man. You got to throw that out. Ain't no plan. Your plan, look, your plan should be serving the most high, right? You believe in the Bible. You gotta throw them cigarettes in that in that cross out. Bring that out again, that first Corinthians 3 and 16. Bring that out again, brother. First Corinthians 3 and 16, man. Right? Our people out here destroying with graven images and, and, and defiling their temple, man. Read that. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of your hell. Ye are the what? The temple of your hell. What is this brother right here? The temple of your hell. Hey, brother, you listening? You listening, brother? Hey, brother. Brother. You listening? You got to listen, man. We'll start from the top. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of your hell. What is this brother? The temple of your hell. And that the spirit of your Yahweh dwelleth in you. Right, the spirit of the Most High dwelleth in you, brother. Where that sign at? Where that sign at? You see yourself on the sign, brother? Right? You see, you see yourself on the sign? Where you at, brother? Where you at, brother? 
Yeah, you gotta speak up, brother. What? He said, God. Yeah. So your your father, is he a so-called Native American Indian? I'm not gonna call no one master. You said, yeah? All right, all praises. So you an Israelite, and the most I said his spirit dwell in you, right? So you got to stop defiling your temple, man. You got to throw those things out. And you got to throw that cross out. Like I said, the most high, he got the angels recruiting you right now. Right? So this could be your last chance to repent, man. Didn't you just tell me, didn't you just say you wanted to repent? Right? But you got to throw that out. You can't repent and still be defiling your temple. Right? But he not gonna forgive you if you don't repent. Give me um, go to Proverbs, go to that in Proverbs twenty eight and nine. Go to Proverbs twenty eight and nine. Cause brother, if you don't, if you don't repent, the Lord he not gonna hear your prayers. You gotta repent first before the Most High hear your prayers. Right? You got that? The Book of Proverbs chapter twenty eight and verse nine. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, you turning your way, your ear away from hearing the law, brother. Because we just brought out precept upon precept about the following your temple and serving graven, graven images, right? And you still don't want to repent, right? So you turning your way, your ear from hearing the law, right? Read that. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer, even his what? Even his prayer shall be. An abomination. Hey, what? His prayer shall be an abomination. The Lord said he not even hearing your prayers, right? And it's gonna be abomination if you don't throw that cross and them cigarettes out, man. So we gonna ask you one more time, brother. You got a precept? You got a precept? Right. So the Lord, he gonna give you his last chance, man. You gotta throw that out, brother. Right? If you really care about your life, you gotta throw that stuff out. Read that. This is the book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore. What? Repent ye therefore. And be converted. And be what? And be converted. And be what? And be converted. And be converted. So the word converted means to be changed, brother. Right? And that's why the Lord got us up here right now. Right? We not hypocrites, brother. We got brothers up here that used to smoke cigarettes heavy, right? right. They used to smoke every single day, right? right? They couldn't live without it. But the Lord, he gave them the strength to put that away, right? And he could do the same thing for you, right? Right? So that's why we up here, but you got to throw that stuff out, man. So I understand that, but you, you got to start somewhere, man. You got to start somewhere. So you got to start right now, man. Right? Yeah, go to that and, um, yeah, kind of go to Psalm 1. 19 and go to verse uh i believe it's 49. Is it 59 it might be 59 right give me sirac go to book of sirac chapter uh um, five and verse seven sirac five and seven man how do you give me give me uh ephesians go to ephesians 5 and 26. but hey brother brother you gotta listen up man you gotta pay close attention brother you said you want to get baptized Okay, do you know what real baptism is? Is it getting dunked under water? But, okay, but how do you do that? Do you dunk your head in water? Okay, well, let's see what the scriptures say, all right? Read that. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 26. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing. With the what? With the washing of the water. By the word, by the what? Water by the word, by the what? By the word. Right. So that's how you get a real baptism, brother. You got to get washed with these laws, statutes, and commandments, man. Right. Right. You can't get your head dunked in water and come up a different person. You know, when I was growing up in the church, I seen a lot of wicked people get dunked under water and they come back even more wicked. Right. So. Brother, we trying to give you the spiritual baptism right now, brother. Right? Read that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 59. I thought on my ways. I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimony. And turn my feet unto thy testimonies. I made haste. I made haste. I made haste. And delay not to keep thy commandments. To keep thy 
commandments. What brother need to do? To keep thy commandments. The Lord said you got to make haste and turn your feet to keep his commandments, man. Right? So, brother, right? Are you going to throw the seeds out, man? The Lord watching you right now, bro. All you got to do it right now, brother. Let me get, read what you got. Read what you got. The book of St. Rap, chapter 5 and verse 7. Make no tearing, what? Make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. Read that again from the top. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord. The Lord said make no tearing. That means don't be sitting here playing around. Don't be taking all day, man. Because like I said, a lot of people walk past and we give them the words of the Lord and then we end up never seeing them again. Right? You got a piece that read this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 16. Wash you, make you clean. Wash you, make you clean. Put away the evil. Put away the evil. His brother got cigarettes. Put away the evil. Yeah, they're cross around his neck. Put away the evil. The Lord said put them things away, man. Right? But. I don't want to hear I will. I want to hear I am, man. That's right. The Lord want to hear, man. So look, you, the Lord, man, he only going to give you but so many chances to, to repent, man. So you got to throw them things out right now, brother. But but are you going to look, brother? You're not going to understand if you, don't, if you don't take the first step to repentance. You're not going to have understanding, brother. But... Look, you're not trying to hear the Lord's side. The Lord said you got to repent, man. Wait, you got to throw them seeds out. But the Lord not talking to you right now, brother. That's right. If you're not keeping his commandments, he's not talking to you, man. We just read, but the Lord said he don't hear the prayers of sinners, man. Give me Psalm 5 and 5. Let me get the book of Psalm chapter 5 and verse 5, right? Let me get Psalm 5 and 5, right? The Lord not... Let me get... And you give me the book of uh, John... Kind of hold that. Let me get the book of John chapter 9 and verse 31. Come. John 9, 31. Come, bring, it, bring that up. Psalm 5 and 5. Hey, you listening up, brother? This is the book of, book of Psalms, chapter 5 and verse 5. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. And brother, I hate to say it, but you kind of been foolish right now, brother. The Lord said the foolish shall not stand in his sight, man. Right? We trying to give you... Look. No, brother. Read that. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest. What the Lord say? Thou hatest. What the Lord say? Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Right. So, contrary to what the uh, the pork chop eating pastor tell you, brother, the Lord, you can't come as you are. The Lord not dealing with everybody. He don't love everybody. The Lord just said out of his own mouth that... But Lord, but hey, brother, 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 you are a sinner, brother. You sinner right now, man. And the Lord sent this out here for you, brother. You got to throw them seeds out, brother. Read that again from the top. Look at Psalms, chapter 5 and verse 5. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Right, so the Lord said he hate all workers of iniquity. That means those that's breaking his commandments. And right now you breaking the Lord's commandments, brother. Right? But hold up, brother. We look, we trying to look, we trying to get through you, brother. Right? We gonna answer your questions, but you gotta repent first, man. Ain't none of the questions we gonna answer gonna make sense to you if you don't repent right now. Read that. This is the book of John, chapter 9, verse 31. Now we know that Yahweh here is not sinners. The Lord say, Here is not sinners. The Lord say, Here is not sinners. The Lord say, He don't hear sinners, right? So you talking about the Lord talking to you, the Lord dealing with you. The Lord say, He don't hear sinners, man. Right? So, brother. Come. Get that with you. Uh, oh, you and Sirach already get Sirach 12 and 6. Come. 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 But it is, if any man be a worshiper. Brother, you got to listen, brother. You trying to have side conversations, but we trying to give you the, the words of the Lord, man. Look. Brother. Brother. The Lord not dealing with people's statements, man. The Lord say he weighs people actually. So you got it. The Lord not hearing nothing you saying if you don't repent, man. Read. But if any man be worshiper of God 
that brother just claimed that the Lord dealing with him, man. So read on. And doeth his will. Him. He heareth. So we want the Lord to hear your prayers, brother. Right? So you gotta you gotta repent. Right? You gotta throw them seeds out and you gotta throw that damn cross out, man. Read that. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 5 and verse 1. Keep thy foot when thou goest into the house of Jehovah. The Lord said, keep thy foot when thou goest into the house of God. I think you want to say right. Okay, come, come. Okay, come, come, come. You got to listen up, brother. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. And be more ready to hear. Be more ready to do what? Be more ready to hear, brothers. This is the most important information that you ever go hear in your life, right? So you got to listen up, brother. You might not ever hear this again in your whole life, brother. Read. Then to give the sacrifice of fools, for they consider not that they do evil. What you, what you have? Uh, uh, read that. Cause the book of Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5. Trust in Yahweh. What? Trust in Yahweh with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. What this brother doing? Lean not into thy own understanding. So brother, you got to stop leaning to your own understanding, right? Because we bring you out the precepts, right? And like I said, you want us to answer your questions, but you not go understand the answers we give you if you don't repent right now, brother. Right? So, read, read what you got. This is the book of St. Mark, chapter 12 and verse 6. For the most high hateful sinners. Does what? The most high hate of sinners. So, brother, you want the Lord to hate you right now? But the, what the Lord just said, you see, look, now you, you're doing it again, brother. You lean into your own understanding. And you're not hearkening to the, the words of the Lord. Read. For the most high hate of sinner. No, he loved everybody. For the most high hate of sinner. So the Lord just said he hated sinners, right? And we just brought it out. That if you defile your temple, right, and if you worship the graven images, the Lord will destroy you, right? So, brother, you was halfway there, man. You was literally halfway there. Like, you took it off, but you got to throw it out, brother. What's the point? Look, listen. What's the point of taking it off if you go put it back on? Right? Look, because look, you ain't got to prove nothing to us, brother. You got to prove to the most high, man. Like I said, the angels are putting you right now, brother. Don't throw it up. Look, don't throw it out. Because we telling you to throw it out. You got to do it for your own salvation, brother. Right? But look, brother. This is your last chance, brother. The most high, he might not give you too many more chances, brother. You got to throw that thing out. You was already halfway there, brother. You was halfway there. You took it off. Now you got to throw it out, brother. Read. This is the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 2, verse 3. Talk no more. So exceedingly proudly. Brother, you being proudful right now, man. Right? Brother, we, we out here to help you, brother. Right? So you you got you took it off, but you ain't throw it out. You gotta throw that thing out, brother. But you gotta throw that thing out. Let not arrogancy. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. For the most high thy power of knowledge. And by him actions are weighed. Read that again. This is the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 2, verse 3. Talk no more so exceedingly proudly. And this brother, he, he, he keep going away to have side conversations, brother. He don't want to hear the words of the Lord, man. What? Brother, it might not be a next time, man. It might not be a next time, brother. You can leave here and you can get put to death, brother. That's what we're trying to tell you, man. Right? Read that again from the top, because this brother, now you speaking powerful, brother. This is the book of First Samuel, chapter 2, verse 3. Talk no more so exceedingly proudly. Brother, you keep talking powerful, man. You talk about next time, it might not be a next time, man. That's what we trying to tell you, brother. You talking about, I'm going to come back. You might not come back, brother. You can literally walk away right now and get put to death. That's right. Literally. Read. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. 
for the most high and power of knowledge and by him actions are way actions are way so the lord said yo actions are way brother so like i said don't be up here trying to convince us right we don't care about what you say brother we want the lord to hear your prayers brother right we want the lord to bring you that salvation man but you're not gonna get it if you don't repent brother and you can walk away right now and we can never see you again brother but but listen, but listen. Right, you, all you gotta do is throw that. All you gotta do is throw the seeds away, brother. Throw that cross off. Is it look? Is it a hey, brother? Is it that important that you you would rather give up your life? You would rather give up your life, brother. Read that. This is the book of Sirach, chapter five, verse seven. Make no terror. We brought this out a few minutes ago, brother. Right. Hey, man. Give me, hey, give me Proverbs 28 and 1, brother. Give me, give me Proverbs 28 and 1. Proverbs 28 and 1. The book of Proverbs, chapter 28 and verse 1. The wicked, the what? The wicked, the Lord said, the, the wicked. The wicked flee when no man pursue him, right? So most of our people wicked as hell, man, right? We literally, that brother, look, that brother was literally halfway there. He took the necklace off, but all he had to do was throw the cross out, man. That's all he had to do, man. How hard is it to throw the cross and throw the seeds out, man? He literally just sat here and wasted our time, man. Wasted the Lord's time, man, right? Talking about, oh, I'm gonna come back next time. It might not be a next time, man, right? The Lord said, if the righteous is scarcely be saved, where should the sinner and the wicked appear, man? The Lord said, if you're not keeping his, matter of fact, give me Sirach 15, no, 2nd Nedges 15 to 24. Let me get 2nd Nedges 15 to 24, man. Right? Our people don't know the days we're living in, man. Give me the book of Amos chapter 9 and verse 10. Let me get Amos 9 and 10. Right? Right? Because we out here trying to save our people, man. We out here trying to save our people, and if they don't listen, that's on them, man. All we can do, all we can do is try our hardest, man. Read. This is the book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 10. All the sinners, the Lord say, all the sinners. We all know, according to 1 John 3 and 4, that sin is the transgression of the law. So all you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that's out here breaking the laws of the Lord, what the Lord say? All the sinners of my people, what? of my people, shall die. Uh, what? Shall die. What might happen to that brother? Shall die. By the sword! By the what? By the sword! By the what? By the sword! Ain't no telling, man. We might see that brother on the news tomorrow, man. We might see that brother on the news in a couple days, man. Right? Lord willing, that don't happen. Lord willing, we do see that brother again. But, hey, it ain't no telling, man. The Lord gave him a chance to repent, and he didn't want to repent. He was literally halfway there, but he didn't want to finish the race. Right? Read that. This is the book of 2nd Ezra to the 15 and verse 20 to like 20, 24. Woe to them that what the Lord say. Woe to them. Hey, and the word woe means death and destruction, right? So the Lord said death and destruction to them that do what? Read. That sin. That do what? That sin. That transgresses laws. Read. And keep not my commandments. And do what? And keep not my commandments. Right, because that brother, he didn't want to keep the commandments, man. We literally went precept upon precept to break down the uh, verses about graven images and the of your temple. Right? And that brother, he couldn't do it, man. Right? Let me get the book of, um, let me get Amos 8 and 11. Let me get Amos 8 and 11. I'm going to get a few more and I'm going to close up. Right? Let me get Amos 8 and 11. Because the brother said... I'm going to come back out here another day, and I'm going to see y'all again. But we're not going to be out here forever, brother. The Lord might take us off, off, off uh, these streets right soon, man. Right? The Lord might take us away soon, man. The Lord might take that brother away soon, man. It ain't no telling. Right? Read. This is the book of Amos, chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the days come. What the Lord say? Behold. The day is come! The Lord said the day is come, so that means that time is very near, right? Read. Says the most high of hell that I was sin a famine, a famine in the land. 
not a famine of bread. Right, and we all know the Lord is going to send a famine of bread pretty soon, man. Right? But we got to see what the Lord talking about in this specific verse. Read. Nor a thirst of water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh. What? But hearing the words of Yahweh. Right, so we ain't going to be out here forever, man. Like the elder was bringing out, you take the prophets of the Lord for for um, for granted, man. We not gonna be out here for long, man. Some of the brothers that you seen up here ministering to y'all today, bro, we not gonna be up here forever, man. Right? Right? The Lord might take us some of us away, right? Tomorrow, man. All the people that came up here, He might take that brother away, man. Right? That brother might not make it, man. Lord willing, He do and He get another chance, but like like we read, but. That brother, he might not get another chance, man. That's right. Right? So what I had you up? Okay, come on. Read that again. The book of 2 Ezra, chapter 15, and verse 24. Woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments, except Yahweh thy power. Verse 25. I will not spare them. The Lord said what? I would not spare them. And the Lord, he literally spared that brother at this moment, right? He gave that brother a chance to repent, but the brother walked off, man. Read. Go your way, ye children, from the power to found not my sanctuary. Right. Verse 26. For Yahweh knoweth all them that sin against him. And therefore deliver he them Unto death and destruction. Unto what? He delivered them unto death and destruction. Right, so he might deliver that brother to death and destruction, man. But we did our job. We gave that brother the warning, right? And Lord willing, he come back if we see him again. So we go close up. Read that. This is the book of Matthew, chapter five, verse seventeen. Four and seventeen. Salaki. Four and seventeen. From that time, Yahweh shall begin. To preach and say, repent, what? repent. What our people need to do? Repent for the kingdom, for the what? For the kingdom, for the what? For the kingdom of heaven, of what? Of heaven is at hand. Right. So, like we say, week in and week out, the kingdom of heaven is at hand for you, so-called blacks, you so-called Hispanics, and you so-called Native Americans, right? So in these last days, you need to come back and return to the Lord and, and keep his law, statutes, and commandments, right? But with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, and Shalom.